We're here for the Indigenous Football Week. So Football New South Wales are partnered with the John Moriarty Foundation to deliver um, the week which is themed around coach development. Uh, so we've got a group of coaches here from the foundation uh, who we're going to upskill them through the FFA community coaching courses. So all of the content that they get shown here on this course will be able to arm them with the best skills for when they go back into their own environments. What I'm uh, looking forward to is the networking because when I'm way up in Barlow it's really remote and I feel like I'm alone and uh, I have no support but coming here and meeting with the other coaches from the other hubs and um, uh, realising we have the same goals and we give each other tips and ideas on how to coach our kids because our Barlow kids are different from the Karanda kids and the Dubbo kids so like we're sort of more remote and we don't have access to the soccer fields games and matches much, so um, yes, the networking. <laughs> With the statistic against Indigenous kids and their lifestyle is really, really bad, but this this program actually works for them and it's, and it's taken them out of that um, remote environment and shown them the world, so it's like a light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of these kids. Bringing the facilities to the kids that don't have access, they can't afford to travel the hours that I used to have to do when I was younger. You know, they may not be able to afford the travel or the fees or you know, even just equipment, so giving them that opportunity doesn't limit them to anything, like they can do whatever they want then. The main, main thing that we're trying to do is get the community involved around the kids, so obviously starting with the kids in the middle of the whole project, then going into their families, but then the community, we want everyone to be built around um, football, like, it brings everyone together. My favourite part about coaching is being able to create a safe environment for the children to be able to feel comfortable enough to, to come to me and ask about anything, whether it's football related or not. Keeping uh, the activities inclusive. By the end of Indigenous Football Week, I'm really hoping to, to gain the skills and knowledge to apply that in my community. Grassroots coaching courses are, for me, probably the most important courses that we do. And those coaches who are predominantly volunteers, dads, mums, older brothers and older sisters uh, with some skills to ensure that the kids have a fantastic time. The week's been a key collaboration between both the Game Development Department and the New South Wales Technical Department. So throughout the week there's, there's been some interactions with Warren Greve, who's the Men's and Boys Technical Director, myself as the Coach Development Manager, um, Charlotte Ursil is the Inclusion and Indigenous Development Officer um, and Kevin Amaya and Cam Whitten from, from the Mini Roos Development Space.